The Brook Street Band launches its groundbreaking Muppet Festival dedicated to the highly innovative composer. Uh, this is a three-day event at uh, St John Smith Square, which begins on February the 23rd. We've got Tati Theo uh, with me now. We're going to have a quick chat, but before that, let's just have a listen and just see what it's all about. <laughs> Isn't it? It's very relaxing. Um, it's beautiful music. Can we expect more of the same? More of the same and plenty of other kinds of music. That was actually a little, a little bit of Handel we just heard. And we'll be delving back slightly earlier to one of his predecessors, Muffat, and okay. just showing how he came to shape the music of Handel and Bach and Vivaldi and all the composers that are perhaps more um, well known nowadays. Okay, and is it all the classics that you really um, concentrate on? There's a degree of that, so there's some definite favourites in there, things like there'll be Bach's Brandenburg III Concerto, which is one of the, the great and um, really justifiably famous um, Baroque pieces, Handel Concerti Grossi, but there'll be plenty of repertoire from other composers you might not have heard of so much, like Schmelzer, or Muffat himself, in fact. Mm -hmm. And why do you think it's important to have these festivals? Well, I think it's great to have an immersive experience where you can come and be part of an event over effectively 48 hours and you get to hear so much more than the music. You get to hear a talk um, about the composer, you've got an illustrated talk with pictures, you've got a dance workshop, for example, so you can completely immerse yourself in the experience. I think if we'd have um, uh, more time, or perhaps next time, we, we might have tried to recreate food or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you're totally taking yourself back to the 17th and early 18th century. I suppose it's encouraging the younger generation to listen to classical music because sometimes it's associated with the older generation, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely so. And we need to work on our younger audience because, um, you know, every older audience member was a young person at some stage and music has been cut from schools. Mm. Fewer young people are learning musical instruments. But if we can get young people in encouraged through participation, through coming to concerts and having reasonably priced tickets, um, the, there's nothing scary or highbrow about the music. It's wonderful music. It's familiar. Many young people will recognise some of the tunes. They're used in games, in TV shows, all sorts of things. It, it's not scary, unknown stuff. It's just, mm. it's very user-friendly. And sometimes people think with a musical instrument that it's too late. Never. To learn, no? It's easier when you're younger. It's like learning a language. But, I mean, I teach adults the cello, and um, it's, it's harder when you're older because you have a... Um, an idea of how you want it to sound because mm. you go to concerts and you're perhaps more frustrated that you can't progress quickly but it really is never too late to learn a musical instrument. I suppose time as well when you're older you've got less of it having you for such things. So, to a degree although if you're retired you have more time perhaps. Of course yeah, yeah and how did you get into it? My family are all cellists actually my grandfather was the cellist William Pleath so mm. I I was sort of born into a musical family. I protested I didn't particularly want to learn the cello um, but I, I, I started when I was seven or eight, which is quite late nowadays. My uncle, um, who will be joining us in one of the concerts, Anthony Pleath, he's a Baroque cellist, and I switched to the Baroque cello when I was about 16. Okay. And what would you say to anybody who's maybe thinking about coming along, isn't quite sure? What can they look forward to? Gosh, they can look forward to three days of absolutely stunning sensual music full of dance rhythms uh, a lot of it is french inspired dance music um, it's really rich and sensual i mean okay it's a little bit like wallowing in a bath of liquid chocolate perhaps Ooh, if, if chocolate's your thing. Yes. it's really rich and lovely and um, it's beautiful music uh, it'll just transport you to another time and another place and the tickets are really reasonably priced and it's a great venue it's london's only baroque performing venue you've definitely sold it um, the 23rd, isn't it? That's the yes. first night, yep. Okay, Tassie Theo, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank we you. appreciate your time. Okay.